Hey everybody. Uh, still up here messing with this, this beech tree. Found a lot of termites in that piece that was laying right here. Which I got you guys up on the on the holder. But uh, I ain't gonna I don't I ain't for what little bit of wood it would be. I I don't want to be messing with termites, so just kind of shoved it off to the side here, and I'm gonna see what we got. Got a decent log up here, and I need to check these couple right here. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and see how bad I can get my saw pinched in here, and it's all you know, as you can see, it's all split apart. So, like I said, we'll see how bad we get saw pinched. Oh, I also found a old fence post. Get these old gloves off so I can dry. Yeah. So I get you guys here. I was kind of playing around with a little bit of bore cutting there and stuff. Found an old fence post here. 
So around the property line, you've seen the the, uh, the fence in that one that we just cut down. And everybody's like, well, probably people be like, oh, how do you know what's a fence post? Staple holes, staple holes, staple. That thing's who knows how old. And there's a hole right there where it's stuck down in. So, it was on down yonder, but pretty neat. I kind of cut into it a little bit down here to see what kind of fence post it is, which I don't, kind of looks like oak-ish, kind of, kind of wood there. But now I'm all covered in sawdust, but oh well. But I'll just leave that lay there. Because I ain't messing with termites, so. But that's as far as I'll cut that stump down. Because, like I said, there's fence in it, so. I ain't trying to wreck my chainsaw blade more than, or my chainsaw chain, I guess. Some people call it a blade chain, I don't know. More than I already do when I take the sharpener to it, so. And of course, I went down, oh, sorry, finger. Of course, I went down to the house, and what I forget, some snips, so I can snip that fence off there, so I don't want a deer or something like that to get tangled up in it, or me or kids or anything like that, so. But I'm all, I mean, down there probably, where it's busted out and the weed is growing in there, probably ain't much to it. And then got a hollow right there. So it's hard to see, kind of in the shadows there. But probably from about where that bark's kind of busted off there. Probably from right in there up to somewhere up in here. There's probably some decent, decent logs. So maybe, depends on how much, if there's termites. This has been down for a little while and I just, it was been, been a mess. So, I just didn't want to deal with it too much, to be honest. I mean, some of the little limbs have kind of rotted away, so. But that over there, I don't, I don't know about it yet. I mean, it's such a mess. And it looks like there was a uh, widow maker up there in that hickory tree. It looks like it's fell, but there's still some... You see all them widow makers up there. You got that big one right there, that curved, that kind of curved one. That one's just like this one right here is just kind of laying up against there. But it ain't worth getting killed when there's a, there's a big old bunch of it right there. And that's that's from you know that's not squirrel nest or nothing. But it ain't worth getting killed for a little bit of firewood. Hickory nuts are falling, I don't know. But other than just being so so daggone muggy, humid, it's not too bad of a day. Wind's been kind of blowing a little bit here and there, so. I don't know. Kind of sucks that got termites in it. All that down there. So, but I might take that old fence post and there's a. See if we can find it in the camera. See, there's another. There's a metal fence post. I think right there. Right there. Kind of dark one. There's a metal fence post and it looks like there's a wood one up there. I might see about. Keeping it, well, I'll probably keep it, stick it up here somewhere on a, lean it up against one of the metal ones or something. It's kind of a little neat, you know. I don't know who would have put that in. I don't know if uh, my grandpa would have, or the guy that used to live here. I mean, it's old fence, obviously, but uh, Henry. 
Henry and uh, their family and stuff. I don't know who would have put it in, but somebody did. Just pretty neat. I just thought it was an old dead piece of wood, and I got to looking at it there and staple in there. Steeple, staple, steeple. So. But yeah, might run around there and see about that hickory tree. I don't know if I want to keep fooling around with this. My knee's been kind of bothering me a little bit. We're on this hillside. So I don't know if I want to keep messing with this beach right now or not. Got some hickory, like I said, up there. That I've been kind of fooling with off and on, but I couldn't, uh, couldn't split it, so. But all right, well, I'm just rambling here, so. If we find something else, I might, I'm probably just gonna take this baby down. I might bring the trail up here more, I don't know. Bring it, if I get, come straight, straight through here. Kind of where the log splitter's setting, kind of up. Up that way, and kind of just make it a, have another part of the trail that's a little bit more of a gentle kind of incline to get up. But I don't know. Too many things to do and not enough time to do it. So, But all right, I'll quit yakking and I'll thank you guys for watching. And you can hit the like and subscribe if you want to. So get this, get the holder off here. It will stand by. Yeah, I forgot the snips and the yeah, and the tripod thing. So stick it back up here. I got a got a bunch of junk on here. This here four wheeler. Well, it's not so much. I got a a knife. For if I always got one in case something would ever happen. Oh. Little knife there. First aid kit. Just you know, basic band aids and stuff like that. Got some bee sting. A little, you smash them and you put them on there. Tourniquet for a little harder to do one handed. There's a tourniquet in there, like a rat's. It's a rat's tourniquet. Came in the tech pack or battle box, one or both. Uh, I gotta get back up here real quick. And a little pair of scissors to go with the tourniquet and the tourniquet little pouch thing there. Chain, old salt bag, kind of washed out. A little four wheeler chain, sorry. Cobweb catchers in the way. And then my water. Thermos water. Got a couple ice cubes in there. But yeah, I think I'll call it call it for for now on this beech tree. So but alright, yeah. We'll talk to you guys after a bit. Bye.